In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to disable the plugin container in the Mozilla Firefox web browser. And the reason we would do this is because the plugin container can crash. This method has proven successful in preventing Flash Player crashes in Mozilla Firefox. It has proven successful in preventing Silverlight crashes in Mozilla Firefox. There are two exam there are some examples at the bottom of the page. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, get right into this. I can't take 100% credit for finding the actual uh, entry to disable this. It is a uh, environmental variable that we are going to change. So if you were guided here from my blog and you go back, it, my blog is listed on the uh, YouTube site as well. And if you go there, you will find this link here. And this link is, is how I actually found uh, the ability to disable the plugin container in Firefox because no one was, no one knew. So I found this. I think it's the only thing out here to be honest with you. So here we go. It's a Fluxbyte site. And we are interested in the second part of this, which is right here. And right here too as well. So what this involves, and I'll show you how to do this. I also wrote a script for it too as well. We'll get into that in a second. So if you go down here to the start orb, and you go to computer and you right mouse click on it and then choose properties. You will open the basic information about your computer. And over on the left pane here is something that says advanced system settings and you click on that. And it's going to open up system properties. It'll usually open up under computer name. I'm going to go ahead and close this. Let's drag this over here into the center of the screen. And then we're going to click on advanced and then we're going to click on environmental variable and here is where they are telling you to go in steps one two three and four the user variable is for yourself and only for yourself the system variable is for all users. So we're going to go ahead and just do the, the user variable. We're not going to worry about the system variable. By the way, my script also uses the user variable. So let's just do a quick copy paste of this information right here. Control C. And then we're going to go ahead and choose new. And we're going to paste that information in there with Control V. And we're going to set the value to 1. Now, before we dig too deep into this, I'm going to show you real quickly. Over here, we have the task manager running. I'm going to go ahead and leave this page and go to a search engine. And I'm going to go ahead and choose test flash and we're just going to choose this one and when I click on a site you're going to notice some process appear and that would be the plugin container that appeared so right now the plugin container is running. So we're going to go ahead and disable the plugin container. Hit OK. And then come over here and hit OK again. Now, in order for this to take effect, you're going to have to close down Firefox and relaunch it. OK. And we're back at our search engine. Here we're going to go test flash. 
We're going to click on this same website. And as you can see, there is no plugin container running. None at all. If you scroll up a little bit here, you will see the Flash players actually running. These will actually show running regardless if you have the plugin container disabled or not disabled. And there's your proof on how to actually disable the plugin container. So I also mentioned the fact that I have a quick fix for this too as well. So the, the page you're looking at is probably going to look slightly different. I went ahead and broke these pages up. So if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will see right here where it says link to folders with the fixes. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And right here we have plugin container. Now, before we download this or try to run it, just as a reminder, you, as in the blog, it does say that you will need WinRAR to actually open this. And I suggest you get a copy of WinRAR. It's free to download and try it. So we're going to we go ahead and click this, and then we're going to go up to the top up here and click Download. And then we can actually just go ahead and open this. And it's going to open the WinRAR file. Inside there, there's, there are two registry entries. One is the default value, which is nothing, which doesn't have the dis disable the plugin container. And here is the disable the plugin container. Basically, these are registry entries, nothing more. This will disable it which means it will add the entry. This will choose it to the default value, which is remove the entry, let it use the plugin container. So just real click, you just click on it and you hit continue, yes, you're good. Like I said, all you have to do is close and reopen the browser and you're good. And that's all there is to it. Back here on the pages, there are a couple of additional links too as well. There are some links to proof that this works down here at the bottom. And I would like to give a thanks to the following users. Some of them helped test this particular fix out. Some of them helped test my other fix out as well. But that, in a nutshell, is how to disable the Mozilla Firefox plugin container.